How to find cheap flights. This is a simple quick mini guide. Hello guys, if you care, my name is Pete. I'm not famous or wealthy or a celebrity, but I do know a couple of things about how to find uh, cheap flights quick. So let me just get right down to it. I made this video to show you some of the uh, methods that uh, I use to fly around for as cheap as uh, $29. Uh, example, I took a flight from Orlando, Florida to Providence, Rhode Island, uh, and it was $29 one way, $29 coming back. So uh, before I you know, go any further, I gotta tell you that uh, I use a desktop for uh, doing my uh, airfare uh, hunting. Um, I mean, can it be done on a cell phone? maybe but I don't know why would you want to because um, there's a lot of uh, searching involved and, and if you're gonna buy the tickets and entering all that stuff in the uh, on the cell phone is very hard so the number one uh, tip that I can give you is use incognito mode and if you're outside the United States use a VPN now uh, use your uh, incognito mode I don't have to show you how to enable it on uh, your browser you might be using Chrome you might be using Firefox you might be using Safari or Opera or Edge just do a Google search for how to use incognito mode basically uh, but a VPN uh, I can I can tell you that it's a service that you subscribe to and it lets you hide your location um, the, uh, or like the country where you are like let's say uh, USA flights are normally cheaper if you're buying uh, them inside the United States but if you're outside the United States they usually are more expensive um, now the reason why I'm telling you this is because um, uh, the computers have tracking and location software on all computers and it helps websites find the best settings for you and you know the best uh, configuration stuff but on the opposite coin it gives airlines and travel search engines a clue of what you're looking for and basically the location where you're at uh, so they use this against you you know they price uh, a little more higher every time you search for stuff and if you're in a uh, outside the destination country they might raise the prices up so uh, number two is use the best travel search engines I cannot stress that enough uh, most but you got to be careful because most search engines inflate their prices to uh, make money and make commission on you so you have to search high and low uh, but I, I'll tell you the best search engine that I use uh, and I found so far is uh, really not a search engine uh, because you can't really buy tickets on it and it, but it can be very uh, uh, helpful it can be a very uh, good discovery tool and guess what it's called Google ITA matrix it has most of the airlines there uh, but there's some like Southwest Airlines is not uh, indexed there you cannot search uh, Southwest Airlines uh, f uh, flights there if they don't appear there so now I personally do a, a search uh, between two airports but I do a 75 to 100 mile radius to get me the best local uh, fares the best airport fare so because you might be flying out of New York but you might get a cheaper fare flying out of New York um, so the second most useful search engine in my opinion is a sky scanner uh, where you can basically see the day that is cheapest to fly out of the month uh, and the third most helpful uh, one that I've seen is called Kiwi. I don't use it very much, but I've heard a lot of people get good results from it. It's uh, a little new. So travel search engines are just, you know, that. I mean, I will leave a list down below in the comments section of this video because you might find one uh, or a particular one that's easier for you to use or you already know one that you already use. So. I mean, some one better than other ones, but like I said, search high and low for for the, the ticket. And usually, I just do like a month search if your uh, travel dates are flexible. Um, so, um, the third tip is you want to buy directly via the uh, airline's website. And don't wait because prices just go up all the time. So, uh, they're not guaranteed until you purchase them. So. Uh, let's say you found the best date, uh, the best airline, and the and the best fare. Uh, the date, uh, you know, go to the official website, you know, uh, uh, frontier uh, frontierairline.com, spiritairlines.com, uh, 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 americanairlines.com, whatever. 
uh, because most of the uh, travel search engines charge you, overcharge you. Now, and some airlines can offer you a uh, like a discount club type of thing. Like for example, Frontier Airlines has a, a program called uh, Discount Den. Um, what it is is basically, I think you pay 59, 69. Don't quote me on it. You pay that a year, but every time you buy a Discount Den fare, it's basically cheaper. It's like five to ten dollars cheaper than the cheapest flight that a public can buy. There's some perks that they give you. But you know, just weigh in all the all the savings because if you buy flights, a lot of flights a year, it might save you. But if you don't, it might not. So, number four, uh, use low cost airlines. I mean, you're not gonna get the same comfort. But there's hundreds of airlines that are not on travel search engines, and you might not know the fares until you directly go to their site. So, I'm gonna uh, post uh, some airlines in the comment section because not everybody is watching from the United States. That people that are in Asia or in Europe. Uh, you might find, you know, like uh, Ryanair or there's Asia that's got different ones. But um, basically here in the United States, you got the uh, Frontier Airlines, Spirit Airlines, and some country airlines. In my opinion, they're the cheapest right now. Southwest, you got to plan ahead. But um, now number five is skip lag flights. Now the term skip lagged is a word that airlines don't want you to learn or see. And let me explain what that is. Basically, it's kind of like a hidden city type thing. Let's say I give you a story. I wanted to go to New Orleans. I mean, New Orleans, they say uh, when you get down there. Uh, I want to go to New Orleans. And uh, basically, the cheapest way to fly there was to buy a flight going to San Francisco, California with a layover in New Orleans and skipping my connecting flight. Now, buying a direct flight to New Orleans was probably like 200 bucks, and getting a flight to San Francisco with a layover in New Orleans was 100. So I bought the flight. And um, basically, I just skipped going to California. If you don't believe me, go to skip, skiplack.com and see if you're, uh, depending on where you're flying from and where you're going to, it might work out for you, it might not. So um, that's just another option that, I, that I've used before uh, to save some money. Um, now, consider not checking number six is to, uh, it has to do with the bag. Consider not checking at all. Because if you're traveling alone or you're going somewhere for a short period of time, uh, you know, make sure you read the uh, dimensions, the size dimensions on the airlines, you know, the fees and what they charge you. Because most airfares today don't include any carry-on baggage or check-in baggage, check-in bags. So, except uh, Southwest Airlines gives you two uh, free check bags and most other airlines now moved away from giving you any check bags, they charge you extra. So remember, when you see a cheap flight, you gotta weigh in on the price because, uh, for example, Spirit Airlines may have a flight for you know 100 bucks, but then you gotta pay 35 bucks to check a bag. And if JetBlue has a flight for 120, it's cheaper to fly JetBlue because they already include a carry-on. Okay, uh, I might maybe if you're confused, but uh, what I'm trying to say is make sure you know what it's gonna cost you if you're gonna check bags because. Uh, don't wait to find out you have to pay an extra $65 or $100 uh, for your bag when you're already at the airport because most airlines prey on customers uh, like that. Uh, they they charge so, so much uh, when it comes to luggage or bags and when you're at the airport, you're already there so you don't really wanna go back and cancel the flight. So in conclusion, use incognito browser on a VPN if you're, if you're overseas. Use the proper search engine to book flights. Uh, go uh, to book flights. Go directly to the airline, and don't wait. You know, uh, the third thing is go directly to the airline or and use uh, low-cost airlines. The number four is use skip lag uh, flights if if they apply to you, and check your uh, number six. I guess whatever. Uh, check your. Uh, bag fees before you go to the airport and before you buy the ticket make sure uh, that you're weighing in the difference between the flights so enjoy your flight uh, wherever you're going and if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down or leave a comment uh, now if you found a good deal uh, please tell me in the comment section I love to hear it you know what was the best deal that you got uh,